Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. And this morning, I'm going to meet up with Eric at the yard. We're going to hook up my trailer to the truck, head down to the Wisconsin State Fairgrounds, and tear down my trade show booth. That trade show has been going on for the past two weeks. I've been working on that, and then in between, I've been doing sales. That's why there hasn't been any videos. There just hasn't been anything to make videos about that's interesting. So we're going to do that today. The show itself went very well, produced a lot of leads sales right now is out past the middle of July I would say so we got a good backlog of work to get started for the season uh, we're gonna have a good year we're gonna get started in less than two weeks so last night actually two nights ago I did a live stream and somebody asked if Daniel was gonna take over the business when he gets older so I actually started training him yesterday I'll show you a little bit of that right here So I don't need to take the trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Morning, Christine. Good. I got you taking care of the coffee business now. See how clean it is back here. Morning, Mizzy. Okay for Monday. All right. How are you? I am wonderful. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye. Thank you. Mizzy is always in a good mood. I am just pulling into the yard and it is 7.59. And Eric's here. So we're going to hook up the trailer right away and head down there it's always a disaster if you guys saw the other video of us setting up and thought that was a mess tearing down is even more disorganized and chaotic really all i'm doing with eric today is taking down the show and then i got some other stuff to do and then he'll be on his way and doing whatever he's doing i think he's getting his stuff ready to work too the dump truck he bought and i'm not sure what else eric your videos inspire me to keep going with my YouTube channel. <laughs> Are the tires good? That's always a question. Good enough. It's good enough. I'm going to pull forward. And I think we should take this. This thing. Yeah, have to put all everything in it. Because there's a, like a 95% chance we're not going to be able to drive in. We gotta wheel everything out. Oh, put it right in the hole. Perfect. Morning. Right. Where are we going? Uh, 600 aisle. 600 Six aisle. Yeah. Rhonda Dave. Pick up in a trailer for the 600 aisle. Be on the pad for a little bit till they get room in there. Okay. okay. All the way down. Thank you. Yeah, the boxes. Oh, yeah, we need that. Oh, look at Mike. I'm just going to call you guys. Call me? Yeah, you got your work? Yeah. Beautiful. Time for you to show up. Beautiful, right on time. We're here. Good job. I didn't forget. No, I'm just saying it's, it's working out. Give us a little more wiggle room. Yes. Look at Mike put my concrete truck upside down. <laughs> he got you, though. That's good. Mike, did you do this? <laughs> oh, I already know he did it. I did it to him. He did it back. Oh, I got to show you something. You got a gift. Yeah, you got a gift. Right here. It's for you and Francisco at the yard. Somebody brought the. <laughs> hey, look. 
Yeah, roll of toilet paper and a bag. Ooh, that is so dope. All right, here we go. Let's find the duct tape is in one of those boxes, I think. These guys did a nice job over the last two weeks. They didn't get much done. That's it. Put these cords nice in here, like around the edges, and then close that up. Unlock that, you twist those, mm -hmm. and then it'll fold in half, and you'll see the angle that it goes, it'll match that angle of the foam. These go in here. These two can be taped. Okay. These are done. All right, our puddler being disassembled. You ready for this, Eric? Yes, sir. Are you really ready for this? I'm not physically. Yeah, I, that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm not either. Yeah, my wife was gonna be like, she told me we're gonna, you guys are gonna be really rusty. Oh. Like, oh yeah. It's just uh, it's construction paper with spray foam and paint, but it looks pretty close to concrete. It's not bad. I'm not really an artsy guy, so that's about as good as I can do. Hold it up. No, the bottom one. All right, take this one. That can go in the box. This one can go in the box. Hang on a second. Put it upside down. No, that's. Take that stuff you put in there out. Those got to come back out. You're taking almost the whole box, and we got to put the walls in there. If you don't put everything just right, they. It doesn't fit. Flip it upside down like this. <laughs> Gotta get used to this here. I'm a little tired already. <laughs> so let's load up as much stuff as we can on the cart and then we'll do a trip and then come back. Remember we got to get the box up in the front so don't put anything up there. I'm going to sell a lot of hand removals just so we can get exercise. <laughs> I'm serious. Are you serious? Yes. No! <laughs> we need it, Eric. I know we do. Really, really bad. Oh. I know, we're oh, tired and happening. all we did is bring that little bit of concrete out here. Yeah. And we had a cart. Look. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, your hair is crazy. Oh, yeah. Alright, take that back in. I'm gonna wheel this up. Yeah. You remember me? Oh, you're from Mud Tech, right? Yeah. You were being fought that same year. Yeah, we didn't fight each other though. Well, no, you were you were way taller than I am. Yeah. But how's how's if business? You did the boxing match? I think it was 2010. Yeah, 2010. Somewhere there. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Things going good? Yeah, real good. Yeah, yeah, us too. Um, I looked at, I saw you guys with the GoPros in your hats. It's like, is, is it like a we didn't we didn't break it thing? And then I then I recognized you. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. Well, cool, man. Good cool. chatting you with you. Over there? Yeah. But I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna walk over this. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, that dude was pretty tough. Yeah. yeah he's a good boxer. This was way back in the day, Eric. Way yeah. back in the day. He's a good guy. He's like, I think he's a military vet. <laughs> but his business has done really well. Let's do another trip, Eric. We'll do the table. And then see if we can like arrange the guys on there too somehow. <laughs> oh yeah. 
He fits. That box can go underneath too. We'll get as much as we can here. You got it. Thank All you. Right. Yeah, text me, man. Just did. Thank you. <laughs> it's too heavy for you? Yeah. Oh. It's just rebar. Yeah, watch them on. <laughs> just roll it and pull it towards you. Hey, you got really short arms. <laughs> you know, we're all like three inches and we got to pull it already. Man, it got way off. Just roll it. I don't care. I'm gonna get some new carpet next year anyway. Uh oh. So I'm thinking he's coming straight back here. He's coming right to this. Okay. So pull up and to the right. That's good. <laughs> that was a struggle. Yeah, it was. Ah. Imagine how mad Bugs is gonna get oh, yeah. if you can't even do your part on the other end of the strike off. What is you doing? <laughs> We're done. We just gotta grab the carpet and your toilet. Okay. You got it on your shoulder, Eric? It feels like my size way higher. Yeah, it is. It's close. Yeah, that's good. That's it. Back at the yard, it's almost 1030. Is that a good picture? Me and my wife. My wife just had her 45th birthday. So I'll be turning 46 in May. Just a little bit less than a year apart. This? No, the stuff that's in the back of the pickup truck. Oh. We'll put that in here now. I think I'm gonna send Eric to Chicago to pick up that wheel motor for the power buggy. Since it's only 10:30, he can make some hours, and then I'll have the wheel motor. I'll have Nate the Great put it back in. Have that one ready to go. Do you want to go to Chicago for real? Sure. You want me to go pick that thing up? Yeah. You just gotta talk to that same guy. What's his name? Brandon? Bradley. 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 Uh, if only you were to come with me. I can't come with Eric. I got too much stuff. You can take my pickup again though. Didn't you say you needed some steel? Yeah. What are you doing? Practicing welding? Yeah. Yeah, that should be enough. Welding's not really that difficult once you get the hang of it. Although I saw a thing on Facebook last night. It's kind of getting around. Some Somebody took their truck in to get a fifth wheel installed. And the shop that did it absolutely hacked it. I mean, it was some of the worst welding. I've, you're not supposed to weld them to begin with. But it was some of the worst welding that I've ever seen. And it was done by a shop. So apparently she had a bill to fix it for $20,000 from a different shop because the guy hacked it so bad. Just remember when you get down there, if you need any help, center console. <laughs> see you later. Okay, see you. When I get it, when I drop it, Eagle has landed. Eagle has landed, yes. Thank you. I am pulling into the shop that I used to rent. So this building here I used to rent. This was always rented out by somebody else. So I did a lot of work in that building, a lot of welding, a lot of painting. 
I still know the guy that's on this side. It's split into two now. This guy, no, I don't know who rents this side. So I have some stuff over here on this property, particularly looking for a steel post. I don't even know if it's still here. I hope it is. I think I see it already. Yes, it is still here. Thankfully. I hope I can wrestle this thing on the truck. It is heavy, so we're looking at this red post right here. I need it for something. Oh, it's heavy. This here is the cap to the F-350 when it had the bed on it. I used to have a cap and that's it right there. And that bucket right there is mine as well. Those are the only things I still have here from back in the day. The guy that owns this building is a really nice guy. His name is Ken. I should have brought Eric over here to help me. It's not gonna fall out, I think we're good. I stopped by the winter shop here. I'm gonna get this post off the truck. It's sticking out pretty far and I just don't feel good about that. All right, I'm gonna drop this thing. I do have a good purpose for that. I'm just not gonna explain that purpose quite yet. We're gonna do something fun with it. So Eric is on the way right now to pick up this wheel motor and then I'll have Nate the Great put it back together that'll go pretty quick so this buggy will be ready so really in the shop what I have left to get done before the season is all the small equipment so the walk behind saws the handheld saws the compactor uh, the sweeper all that kind of stuff I'm gonna have Nate go through all of it uh, change the filters change oil on some of them and just make sure that everything is 100% ready to go Good morning. It is 8 o'clock on a Wednesday here for me. The show is over. It was successful. I picked up a lot of leads. It was definitely worthwhile, definitely worth my time. So I got a couple things going today that I'm going to take you along for. First thing is I am picking up my brand new trailer. It came in. It's a tilt trailer. I've never owned one before. I've always had traditional ramp trailers. So that should be fun. And then later on this afternoon, Hopefully, if Eric has time, we're going to go pick up the F-350. It is done being wrapped. I'm super excited to see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I really, really like that truck, so that should be pretty cool. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Is that funny? We have had some big thunderstorms and a lot of rain. Look at my front yard. It is flooded out. Since I never actually get to go fishing, at least I can pretend. Use some top water. Little buzz bait action. It's one of my favorite baits. I use buzz baits all the time with a kicktail trailer. Just like that, I've caught some big, big fish. You don't catch many small fish, but the fish that you catch are usually pretty good. Let's see what we got here. Look at that action. Let's see if I can hit the pole. Ah, oh, I missed it by an inch. <laughs> oh man, I know you guys couldn't see her face, but she went. <laughs> All right, I gotta get to work. That's enough of that. My neighbors are gonna think I'm certified crazy. I was fishing in the front yard, and then the neighbor drove by. She was staring at me. <laughs> okay, bye, Grace. Bye. 
morning, Lisa. Good morning, how are you? Good, how does this thing work? Let me see. Oh, it's yeah, got cartridges. Yeah, just slide oh, them in. Oh, wow. Take that off, isn't that nice? That's very cool. If it's working, it's great. Yeah. Once it gets jammed, another story. <laughs> receipt for you today. Nope, that's it. Thank All right. you. Well, thanks. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye Thank bye. you. So I was watching a guy last night on YouTube. His name is Dr. Berg, I think. And I think he was giving about nine or ten reasons or benefits to cutting out sugar in your diet for two weeks. At least two weeks. Obviously, the idea is to, is to limit that even after that. But uh, like the things that he was explaining are the problems that I've been having so I'm gonna give it a shot it's not so much for the weight loss right now for me although I need to lose weight but that's not necessarily the point the point is I just want to figure out why I haven't been feeling good just generally speaking this guy said he loves a channel so I'm gonna give him a hat I'm gonna scare him to death now. There you go, man. Rock on, brother. Appreciate yeah. it. Yep, have a good day. Right, Just loading up some of the gas powered equipment on my pickup truck. I'm gonna run it over to the winter shop. I'm gonna have Nate the Great come in later this week. Uh, he's gonna finish off putting the wheel motor in the power buggy. He's gonna finish off some of the small equipment doing the maintenance. This saw here runs fine. It just needs a new recoil rope. Okay, I dropped a few things off here. I'm gonna go get the rest. The big walk behind saw, I'm gonna need a hand from Eric. Loading that thing, it's super heavy. And then I just need to go to Concord and get all the filters and spark plugs and all that stuff. You guys have seen me here before. They usually stock a lot of small engine parts. So I'm going to see what they have here, and then I might have to go somewhere else if they don't have everything, or maybe they can get it in quick. We'll find out. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. So I have a few things, items, small engine stuff. Okay. It's all simple. You probably know what it all takes. So the two TS420s. So I'm just looking for spark plugs and filters for those. Okay. And then this one here, the recoil is busted. Okay. I need the air filter spark plug. Okay. Well, why don't you give me two of the filters? I'll keep a spare. Okay. okay. And then I have the KM111R. Uh-huh. I'll take an air filter if you have it. Okay. Man, you have just about everything so far. So far? Yeah. Well, the last one I know you don't have, but that's okay, because I expected that. Why is it declined? This doesn't take um, uh, Discover? No, just MasterCard Visa. I don't know what's going on with my card. My wife said she tried to use it yesterday and it got declined too. I have oh. to call. Just bill me. Yeah, we can just bill it. I have to call them. What's going on? All right, thank you. Thank you. Yep. For English, press one. Para español, marque it. If you are a Visa card holder, please press one. For account information, such as account balance, for purchase security, press two. To hear this menu again. None of these. Come on. In the privacy notice posted at Visa.com. We're calling Visa and Stephanie. How can I? And it keeps getting declined, and I'm just trying to figure out why that is. Sir, may I know for your card, is it damaged or expired? I will connect your call over to the card services department. Please say or enter your credit. Were you contacted regarding a security check for this card? Para Español, por favor oprime el número 9 o permanezca en la línea. If you would like to participate in a brief survey at the end of your call, please stay on the line after the agent disconnects. Thank you for calling Cajol del Services. My name is Elizabeth. May I have your name as it appears on your card? I'm just trying to figure out why my Visa card is getting declined. To verify the reason for this decline, I will try to fix it. Are you traveling now? Are you? No, I, I'm not. No, I'm not traveling. 
Thank you for holding. May I please place you on hold again while I transfer you to Car Member Security Department for further assistance? <sighs> Okay, thank you, Mr. Tomich. Bear with me one moment while I pull up your account. So, Mr. Tomich, it looks like we just needed to verify a transaction here with you for April the 4th. Um, at Epidemic Sound, $49. Is that valid? Union, we thank you for helping us protect your account. We appreciate your time. Got that figured out. It's always something. It's always something that takes up the minutes of your day. I'm gonna go grab some lunch real quick, which should be interesting since I'm trying not to eat any sugar. Well, you're always gonna have some sugar, but almost no sugar. I'll have to figure something out. I'm probably just eating meat, I guess. It's getting windy out here, huh? How much would it be if I just got two big chicken breasts and nothing else? Hi, Lynette. All right, there you go. It's a good amount of food. That'll fill me up at least halfway. <laughs> Throw some hot sauce on here and that's it. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I got a third one to go. They're really thin. There's not a lot to them. And after eating two, I knew there was no possible chance I'm gonna make it to dinner. It's a little after 12.30, I'm just pulling into the yard. I got a phone call from Mike and he's headed over this way. So a couple videos ago, you guys might've noticed that I sold Mike one of my Snow Wolf skid loader plows and he was using it on his new skid loader. So Mike actually paid me for the plow and then a couple days later, let me turn this beeper off. A couple days later, Daryl Jr. messaged me like he always does, stuff for sale. And he said, hey, you should buy this back. And I couldn't open the attachment, so I messaged Junior. I said, what is it? And it was the mowing trailer that I sold Mike, the green one. So Mike bought an enclosed trailer, and he's selling his green one. And I told Mike, hey, what if we just trade even up the plow for the trailer? So I'm giving Mike his money back, and we're doing an even up trade. Mike's here. Look at my old trailer's back. What happened to the nice jack I had on there? Right here. You busted it up. Well, the switch broke off of it. Oh. When I moved, I lost the uh, hand crank. Oh. Does it still work? Yeah, it still works. I just oh. threw this on there. Temporarily? Temporarily. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then this fell out about a week after buying it. <laughs> you broke it right away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you still got the same, that's all the junk I left in. You never cleaned it out? No. <laughs> that's the same junk that was in there. It still smells like Roundup. Yeah, it does. <laughs> wow. Mike modified the ramps a little bit because they were, it was super heavy. So he cut it into two. Is it easier with two? Oh, that's way nicer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. All right, I'll see you on Friday. We'll see you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the deck is still good on here. Nothing wrong with this. Everything's pretty solid. Touch up a little weld there. And then back here, I got to redo that weld. I got a little ugly there. I can fix that though. That's not a big deal. Mike just left. I'm gonna head to the bank. By the time I get back, Eric should be here and then we're gonna go pick up the new trailer. That's just right down the road. And then we're gonna head over and pick up the other truck. Back at the yard waiting for Eric. He should be here in about five minutes. I just texted Daryl Jr. a picture of the green trailer. And he says, all right, that's awesome. He's the one that always wants me to buy stuff. He sends me pictures and this was like the first time that he sent me something and I actually bought it. He was super pumped. <laughs> Eric's here. All right. So we'll go pick up the trailer. You see the, how bad it is, the wind yesterday? It is windy. 
It was storming out really bad this morning. We had a ton of rain. Hey, uh, we're taking my truck or what? No. Okay, let me just turn it up. <laughs> oh, it's running? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you bought Mike's trailer back or? Yeah. You did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do on it? I'm not sure. You, you wanna put another? It was just kind of nostalgia, you know? Like I just had to have it back. We might go mowing again. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh no. You love mowing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Picking weeds <laughs> <and> yeah. Boys, I got back. All right, I'll be back. Yeah, when I used to have bugs come and pick weeds with us, he would be so angry. He hated it. There was one time we were picking weeds on one property, and I came around the corner cuz he just like he would just get down and be furious. And I came around the corner and he was like, he was like 50 feet on the neighbor's property. Like he was so mad he wasn't even paying attention to what he was doing. He just kept going and going and going. That's the trailer I bought right there. Oh. The black one. What? No, you did not, Ryan. I told you I was buying another trailer. I didn't trailer. think you were going to be serious. Yes. Oh my God, look at that thing. Dude, that is so nice. I think you're going to buy it. I did. Not quite yet, but almost. Hi, Rolly. How are you doing there? Fine, how are you? I'm fine. Why are these trailers so expensive? Okay. Thanks again. Thank Appreciate you. it. Appreciate yeah. doing business with you. Yeah. I got it, Rolly. You don't have to do that. Well. Part of my job. Okay. <laughs> that's why you're the best. That's why you got the Salesman of the Century Award. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Seems like we're here like about every week, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Good afternoon, Ryan. How's it going? Good. How are you? Can't complain. It's this one, right? No. Uh, yep. This is it. I'm writing a check, but I hope it looks good. You want to see it before you write the check? I already know it looks good. <laughs> I don't have any doubts. This thing is a. This thing was way better than the other one. Yeah, this one was pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy. Yeah. I went in F three fifty at the no winter no. shop and a mouse is sitting <laughs> right on the passenger floor looking at me and then it's running around in there and then it ran on the mat and I like tried to get it out and it ran up under the dash and I tried to wait it out again so it come out and then it wouldn't come out and then it came out and I opened the door and it would hide again. And finally I drove it over here knowing the mouse is down by my feet. <laughs> so I kept tapping my feet every once in a while to make sure it didn't like crawl up my leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, you guys wrapped the whole oh, back. Wow. That looks super nice, man. Dude. I like that. Very cool. Awesome. I always like the little touches that he does. That's oh, so nice. My. Now the bed is complete. The bumper's complete. And the paint was pretty clean for you guys. Yeah. yeah. Still got to do the Mac at some point. The dump, <laughs> the dump truck cab. Yeah. Huh? Well, we ran out of time this year. We're gonna start working. It is what it is. Yeah. Next fall or winter. Thank you. Thing. He does nice work. 
every single time i'm always really happy with what he does we didn't even talk about that truck i just said make it look like the rest of them you know what to do and he did it just perfect are you busy friday no. probably help me on friday tomorrow? no tomorrow's thursday are you okay all right, all right. I want to take the salter off. I got to put that headache rack back up. And then I got to cut some wood, finish out the back here. Oh, yeah. And then I think that's pretty much it. Then this truck is ready. That's too the big one, too. Right there. The barrel? Oh, this? That's yeah. mine. Oh. I got another project that I'm working on. I can't tell you about it. It's top secret. Oh. Yeah. Uh, just meet me here Friday morning at 8 o'clock and then we'll go over to the winter shop and get that stuff done. Okay. Yep. All right. See you, man. Thank you. So that was a good day. Got some stuff done. Got the trailer. Got the green trailer. That was kind of unexpected, but that worked out. Picked up the truck. Okay. So tomorrow I have estimates all day long. I have six actually, which is quite a few for one day. Hopefully that goes well. I probably won't video tomorrow unless something exciting happens. But we'll be back at it Friday working in the shop. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.